Hey everyone, I'm Andy and welcome to another episode of Easy Tiki Drinks. And today on the channel, we're gonna be taking a look at a tiki cocktail that I think is perfect for Cinco de Mayo. It is a modern riff on a tiki classic and it's known as the Senor Diablo. So, let's do this. So today on the channel, we're gonna be taking a look at a tiki cocktail that I think is perfect for Cinco de Mayo. Now when we think about Cinco de Mayo, a lot of us think of margaritas and coronas and tequila. So how does tiki fit into this? Well, actually, we're gonna be taking a look at a cocktail today that is tequila based, no rum, which I know for a lot of people is a sticking point. A lot of people think that tiki cocktails need to include rum. And while most do, that's not true because Trader Vic himself put a lot of drinks on his menus that were not rum based and had no rum at all. And actually a lot of you have been asking for non-rum based tiki cocktails, so I thought this was pretty fitting. The cocktail that we're gonna be taking a look at today is known as the Senor Diablo by Olio Elias. And I hope I'm not butchering that name. I even asked him, he sent me a video, uh, a voice recording of how to pronounce it and I'm sure I'm still butchering it. So Olio, I really apologize, I'm, I'm doing my best here. But anyway, let's see what we're gonna need to make the Senor Diablo. We're gonna need a Blanco tequila, mezcal, Blueberry syrup, ginger syrup, hot honey syrup, lime juice, aromatic bitters, and club soda. The Blanco tequila I'm using is Ornitos. The mezcal that I'm using is La Luna Cuprieta. The blueberry syrup, ginger syrup, hot honey syrup are all homemade. The lime juice is fresh squeezed. The aromatic bitters are peixote and the club soda is from my soda stream at home. This is a lot of ingredients, so I'm gonna rearrange this and hope that it fits. There, I think I did it pretty well. Now I got this recipe from Minimalist Tiki, which I will leave a link in the comments below if you wanna pick up your own copy. It is a great tiki tome with a ton of information and a lot of modern tiki drinks, which I really, really enjoy. Now, for those of you that have Minimalist Tiki or are familiar with the Senor Diablo, you'll notice that my specs are a little bit different. And that's because I twist it just slightly. Um, the original one has Ancho Reyes in it. I don't have that on my bar, so I'm using the hot honey syrup. The other one uses ginger beer. I'm splitting that between ginger syrup and club soda. It allows me to control the ginger flavor a little bit more. So this is kind of my interpretation of a modern version of a classic tiki cocktail. Speaking of classic tiki cocktails, what is this based on? Well, the Senor Diablo, or Mr. Devil, is based on the El Diablo from Trader Vic. So the classic tiki cocktail that we're talking about is the El Diablo. Now, in 1947, Trader Vic put on his menu a cocktail known as the Mexican El Diablo, which was mostly probably a riff on the classic Diablo cocktail. However, this cocktail disappeared from Trader Vic's menus about 1950s. That is until the 1960s when it came back on the menu when he opened his Mexican restaurant, Senor Pico, and we now see the El Diablo as we know it today, which is lime juice, creme de cassis, tequila, and ginger beer. Very similar to a suffering bastard, but kind of a tequila version of it. This is Oreo's version of this in modern take. So we're gonna build this, we're gonna talk a little bit more about where his decisions came from on what he did and the decisions that I'm making to change it up a little bit for my bar at home. So anyway, to start, we're gonna need one dash of Peychaud's bitters. We need half an ounce of lime juice. We need a bar spoon of our hot honey syrup. Now this is a hot honey syrup that I made at home and I will leave the directions on how I made it in the description below. Now, as I mentioned earlier, originally the Senor Diablo has Ancho Reyes uh, liqueur, chili liqueur in it, and I don't have that on my bar. So it's only a little bit, it's just a bar spoon. So all that's adding is a little bit of back heat to this cocktail, which this hot honey syrup will do phenomenal at. So just a bar spoon of our hot honey syrup. Next up, we're gonna need a quarter ounce of our ginger syrup. Now again, Olio's original recipe calls for ginger beer. I like to split my ginger beers, as you've noticed in my Suffering Bastard video, because it allows me to control the ginger flavor. 
this ginger syrup is super fiery. So that's why I'm only using a quarter ounce. If you've got a little bit on the sweeter side ginger syrup, you may want to dial that up to about half an ounce. But play around with it. Find the measurement that works well for you. So I'm gonna go with a quarter ounce of my ginger syrup. Next up, we're gonna need our blueberry syrup. Now this is homemade, it's a two to one rich blueberry syrup, and I will leave the instructions on how I made it in the comments below. Oreo uses blueberry real, which is a pre-bought, uh, commercially available blueberry syrup that you can buy on Amazon. I'll leave an affiliate link down below if you wanna make, if you wanna buy your own. Either way, this was super easy to make. Both are great options, so go with whatever you like. We're gonna need three quarters of an ounce of our blueberry syrup. Next up, we're gonna need a quarter ounce of our mezcal. Now, Oleo does recommend a smoky mezcal, which the La Luna Cupereta is a rather smoky. Um, most people probably have Del Magüe Vida, which is a little bit on the less smoky side. It'll still do fine, but because it's only a quarter ounce, you want something with a bit of smoke on it, otherwise it's not gonna show up. So if you've got the Vida, maybe go to a half an ounce to try to get that smoky flavor in there. I'm gonna go with that quarter of an ounce of mine. and then one ounce of our Blanco tequila. I happen to have Hornitos on my bar, sometimes I have Casamigos. It's not an ingredient I use a ton, so if you happen to have a favorite Blanco tequila at home, by all means, please use that one. But we're gonna need an ounce of it either way. All right, I'm gonna grab our large shaking tin. We're gonna add some ice to this. From there, we're just gonna pour in, give it a nice little whack, and then we're gonna whip shake for about five to eight seconds to chill and dilute this cocktail. All right. So from here, we're gonna grab a Collins glass that this calls for. I happen to have my everybody's zombie glass. So we're just gonna open pour into that. Better yet, I take that back. I forgot something. This is always what happens whenever I have club soda in a cocktail. I always forget to add it first. So we're gonna add an ounce and a half of our club soda. Now, why am I adding this first? Well, I'm adding this in first so that it mixes with the other liquors that I have in the shaking tin instead of just kind of just floating on top. There we go. Now we're gonna open pour into our cup. And now we're just gonna to top with more ice. Perfect. For a garnish, Oleo does um, call for two red peppers in the shape of a devil horn. I don't happen to have any, so I'm just gonna go with a classic mint sprig. Making sure just to wake that up. Stick that right in the back there. Add in your straw. And there you have it. Oleo Elias's Senor Diablo, or my interpretation of it. So let's give it a sip. So first things first, I mean, look at the color of this cocktail. It is gorgeous. That blueberry syrup adds such a nice, vibrant pink, light purple color to this. It's gorgeous. So before I kind of get into my tasting notes, I want to talk about kind of the decisions that Oreo made when he went from the El Diablo to the Senor Diablo. So the El Diablo has lime juice, tequila, creme de cassis, and ginger beer. 
Where did this stuff come from? Well, the Peychaud's bitters and the hot honey syrup, or what he calls for the Ancho Reyes, is adding a nice bit of heat and spice to the back end of this cocktail. From there, the ginger beer stays. I just happen to split mine between ginger syrup and club soda, but either way, he's still using the same thing. Now, Oreo does mention that he hates creme de cassis. He's just not a fan of it. And honestly, I can't disagree with him. It's a black currant syrup that is actually really hard to find. So instead, he opts for a blueberry syrup, which is similar notes in that sweet fruitiness, but way easier to find, way easier to get, and actually super easy to make as well. The tequila stays, and then he's adding just a touch of mezcal to add just a touch of smokiness to the back of this cocktail. So how is this modern interpretation of the El Diablo? It's delicious. There is a light fruitiness to it with a bit of heat and spice. Uh, and when I mean spice, I don't mean like jalapeno spice, but I mean like anise and clove on the back end that is actually supplemented by the hot honey syrup that does provide that kind of like jalapeno spice bite to it. Then there's just this underlying like agave vegetal flavor that's just highlighted by the smoke from the mezcal. It's a gorgeous cocktail, first of all. It's a delicious cocktail, second of all. And it is an awesome cocktail to have on Cinco de Mayo because it's got all the classic flavors that you would think about and pair really, really well with Mexican style food. So that's it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed this. Orleo, I really hope I did justice to this cocktail in my inter interpretation of it. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Head on over to the channel, subscribe, click that little notification bell because it really does help me out. Then go over onto Instagram and TikTok. Follow me there at Easy Tiki Drinks. And until next time, I'm going to go have a burrito and some tacos and drink this. And I hope you do too because this is phenomenal. So until next time, take it easy.